Hey there, Ken and Trevor. Here's a quick breakdown of uh, the findings and KVEST. So, um, one of the things we have here, Ken, is uh, first thing that comes up is you have a difficult time arching your back and there's some vibration in the pelvic tilt test. So, some of the arching in your back, the uh, trouble with that is if you can't do that, it always suggests the hamstrings are tight and we have that confirmed later on with the toe touch. Um, That'll change a few positions, and as you sort of said, you feel like sometimes you're too rounded as well. We'll try and loosen that up. Um, in terms of pelvic rotation, how you rotate your pelvis independently of your shoulders, uh, it looks really good. However, when you uh, the downswing rotation turn, uh, there's a bit more of a hip hike, so that right glute isn't uh, turning on quite as much and sort of leveling or tucking the pelvis under. So the belt buckle, if we think about it, kind of points down to the ground for just about everyone a little bit uh, standing tall and also in golf posture, is that as you start to rotate, we want to see that belt buckle level off and that right side drop down. In your case, as you start to rotate, the right side goes a bit higher as well. So that'll be something we want to try and loosen off a bit. Uh, but your independent control of ro rotation is pretty good. Uh, torso rotation. Uh, you've had good mobility, but we need a bit more stability. So both directions really benefited from uh, resisting the lower body, which means that um, we have to get the legs a little bit more active through that. Uh, we've got a, a full limited deep squat uh, with a weight shift into the right side. And uh, most of that is coming from, for sure, that right ankle. It's uh, appreciably tighter than the left, and that'll be one of the things we try and loosen up. The toe touch. Yeah, you're pretty close to touching your toes, but both don't touch. We test both of them independently. Uh, they're going to also lock up. So that means that the like an early extension is there to stay until we can get rid of that, as well as the deep squat. Um, for you, we're gonna, really going to focus on that left side. The left was definitely tighter than the right, and I've scored it a little differently than here. So you can see how it uh, ties in a bit more to your uh, golf swing. Uh, your shoulders were great. They passed with flying colors. Uh, single leg balance, we're going to go ahead and test those next time. And the lat test too is a little tight as well, so um, the lats will make it a bit harder to uh, change a few things, but it'll make it hard to get to the top of your swing without changing some angles. So um, what we found in your KVS is that this uh, side bend or flat shoulder plane comes into play. Um, and uh, as well as it kind of, it might suggest that a shorter back swing probably a good place to start. Lower quarter rotation, both of your hips are actually fairly tight in internal rotation, um, but specifically the right hip is far tighter than the left hip. So that will be affecting some of the stuff like uh, ability to get cleanly into the right side or feel like you're getting a nice rotation in the hips or in the shoulders uh, with that right hip. If the downswing is not quite as bad, a suggestion might be to turn that left toe out a little bit uh, just to kind of give you a bit more wiggle room. We're going to run through the uh, rotation test next time, uh, but for the most part I think that won't change where we're headed. Both of your glutes would benefit from being weaker and one of the main spots we want to work on now is the uh, cervical rotation. Uh, the neck on both sides is very tight in relation to that. That's definitely going to affect shoulder plane. Um, and also it's going to affect the sort of the control of the shoulder blades as well. Uh, the forearm rotation test, so that was kind of interesting. We found that your right forearm or your right arm has less supination or ability to roll that wrist over. So if we're standing tall, that'd be having that thumb pointing straight out to the sidewall. Um, so if that's tight, it means that up at the top, uh, the club is likely to be a bit more closed at the top of your swing and it makes sense why you've gone with more of a neutral grip um, because both of your uh, wrist flexors or ability to point the wrist down are tight. So if you went with more of a strong grip, uh, you'd sort of find that uh, at address or at address would be just fine, but at impact, you would need even more wrist flexion. So that uh, neutral grip that you have or maybe a slightly weaker grip, it makes complete sense physically why, why you've naturally uh, gravitated towards that Wrist hinge is fine. Uh, the wrist flexion was the one I just talked about. Uh, even the wrist extension too is the ability to cup the wrist. We found those tight, which ties into the weak grip as well. Uh, why you've opted for that. 
Uh, so th those are the main sort of uh, physical findings that we have. I'd sort of say our priority to begin with is to go after first the lower body. We're going to try and clear some of the stuff through the hip and then uh, definitely go after the neck. Um, the more we loosen off that neck, the more it's going to fix the shoulder plane. Um, <clears throat> here's a breakdown of your swing. And what we have here is that the uh, swing looks pretty good. This is the takeaway here, and it's just a little loopy here. We're not overly concerned about that. But um, so you've got a pretty efficient uh, takeaway, and we can see that even as you start the downswing, your hips lead. So we've got the same, the right sequence of the hips, shoulders, hands leading the downswing. However, we have a pretty consistent pattern of your shoulders out racing your hips in the downswing. Your numbers for your uh, for your age are excellent. There's room for improvement for sure to get these both going quicker. Um, and that'll be from trying to improve how the hip moves as well as how the shoulders move. Uh, the more side bend we add is going to make a change there. If we look at alignment, uh, alignment's good. So there's no, uh, no problem with being too open or closed at a dress. Your uh, amount that you tipped over is good. You could tip over in both areas, the hips and shoulders more if there was a need. Um, but probably wouldn't touch that. Your pelvis at the top of your backswing is in perfect position. Uh, and upper body turn, it's limited. That's a good number to have. We know we have some restrictions in the neck and the lats. Uh, that's where it should be. Uh, we know the hips are a little under rotated and that's uh, indicative of that right side being a little bit tighter than it should be. And the upper body is just about where it should be. So just a number off here. So that's, uh, that's all really good. Um, pelvic bend. As I talked about, that right side is going to be, it has difficult time rotating through without like a hip hike or the right side lifting up. Um, and it means that we want to get your right hip lower at impact and your left hip slightly higher. So this will be something that will kind of be our telltale of whether or not we're getting improvement in that area. Uh, side bend. So we would definitely want to add a fair bit here to your side bend, which is your left shoulder being lower at the top of your backswing. And at the top, um, you're also kind of standing tall but within range. There's a benefit here to also maybe uh, feeling like you're sinking down a little bit or lowering your head. It'll be a really subtle change. You won't really be doing anything um, consciously, but what, by, by fixing the side bend, we'll fix that. All your, others, all your other number here uh, look pretty good, so we're happy with that. And these are a bunch of graphs. So that was one swing, and this was the other one. So uh, this was the one I believe was like a, uh, the, the fade, the one just missed uh, right of the target or just moving right, no real movement, but just sort of like that uh, push. And we've got the right uh, transition means that your hips and shoulders fired at the exact same time um, and also the peak speed at the exact same time as well. The numbers are almost identical again. We can see that your takeaway is also pretty good as well but we can see that uh, depending on whether you're, if you're a little quick uh, in relation to some, some of your swings, that we're gonna see both release at the exact same time. Uh, the numbers really don't change much for you. You have the right amount of open and close. Uh, your pelvis position, so you, you restrict the turn. That might be one of the reasons why they're both firing at the exact same time. Um, your upper body number is the same. Shoulders spin through a bit more. Okay, so that's not bad. And so did your hips by a degree or two. So there isn't too much of a change, but that kind of meant that your upper body uh, not necessarily outraced, but was rotated through further. Side bend numbers, all excellent. Pelvic bend number, numbers, all ex excellent through all parts of the swing. And then what we, we are seeing at the top of your backswing is that your shoulders are even more flat. Um, and we've lost a few, a few more degrees here. Uh, it impact this sort of change is that now you've thrown that left shoulder a lot lower at impact whereas before you had in the sweet spot. Um, impact of the uh, upper body bend, uh, it means that we'd want to get you to uh, essentially t can tip over a fair bit more at impact and uh, what this means here is tip over a fair bit more impact but take out a lot of the side bends. So that'd be leveling the shoulders off. So sounds a little different but at the top we need the right shoulder sorry the left yes we need the <laughs> can't mix up with the lefty here 
uh, we need to get that left shoulder appreciably lower and then at impact we need to get that right shoulder far more level. Uh, these are some numbers down here below, but otherwise most things look pretty good. It just means we want to start probably clearing that hip first and see what kind of changes we can make. Hope that helps.